Auto frothing steam lines make it easy for just about anyone to produce a reasonable froth for a cappuccino or latte. But what if you want to go beyond reasonable and create a froth that's smoother and creamier? Hey, Mark here from wholelattelove.com. So you have a gauge machine with an auto frothing wand, but you want to take your frothing to the next level. You know that super fine microphone that's capable of pouring latte art? Well, if you have any one of a number of Gaja machines from their semi-autos like the Gaja Classic and more to current bean to cup machines like the Brera, some of the newer Animas, and even machines that are no longer manufactured but still in use, there's an easy, low-cost way to get a super fine microphone and it's this magic little device, the Gaja Latte Art Panarella Wand. And it's compatible with just about every Gaja machine that has a steam pipe. Now, it still functions as an auto frothing wand, but slide off the outer sleeve and shazam, you've got a single hole steam tip that mimics those on commercial espresso machines. Now, even if you are not into pouring those pretty pictures on your drinks, with a little skill, you will be able to create a milk froth that's finer, smoother, and creamier. So stay with me and I'll show you how to do that. Now that finer froth with its creamy and more delicate texture, it really improves mouthfeel. So a closer look at the wand. With the sleeve on, it froths just like the Panarel wand that came with your machine. A small hole near the top sips in small amounts of air and injects it into the milk, just like the Standard wands for best performance, you need to keep it clean, especially that air intake hole. Now, if you need some tips on working with an auto frothing wand, use the link up here to our video, How to Auto Froth Milk for Lattes. So changing out your old wand to the new one is easy. It will either just pull off like this one, or if you have the type with a nut at the top, just loosen the nut and then pull off. To put on the latte art wand, take off the outer sleeve, hold the shaft and loosen the top nut. With it loosened up, you should be able to slide it onto the steam pipe. Push it up as far as you can, at least an inch or so, and then tighten the top nut as much as possible. You don't need pliers, but it does need to be secure so it doesn't pop off when steaming because, well, that gets messy. When frothing with the sleeve on, again, it works as an auto frothing one, just like your old one. Not a lot of skill required, but if you do want some tips, be sure and use the link up top for that video I mentioned. To froth manually, just slide the sleeve off. Now, manual frothing requires a little skill, and it's all about tip position and, of course, lots of practice. So, you want to start with a tip below, but very close to the surface of the milk. The idea is to rip in small amounts of air, a little at a time, at the start of frothing, using the Venturi effect of the steam power in relation to the surface of the milk to suck the air in. As the milk expands, you lower the pitcher to maintain the tip position relative to the surface of the milk. You should be done adding air by the time the outside of the pitcher starts to feel warm. When you feel that, it's time to lower the tip into the milk just a little more. This stops any more air from being added. From there, find a tip position and angle that rolls the milk, which helps break up bubbles and create that finer texture. Continue this heating and rolling until the outside of the pitcher is heated almost to the point of being uncomfortable to hold. That gets you to about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we like for best milk flavor. Now, I'm no latte artist and I'll have Todd, our resident pour master, and soon to show you just what can be done with milk froth using this wand. So watch for that video. But do notice the very fine texture of the milk as I pour. Manual frothing really does make a difference. Now, if you're interested in the latte art wand, use the link up here to learn more and purchase. At about 20 bucks, it's an easy upgrade. Even if you don't want to pour latte art, you can take your milk-based espresso beverages to the next level with a finer and creamier froth. Would you like to learn more about espresso and everything coffee? Be sure and subscribe to our channel. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee, brought to you by the coffee experts at wholelattelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.